last year in January I was in Harbin to take photos of the ice, ice and snow, uh, snow lights there. And uh, in February I was in Hokkaido to take photos of uh, shooting birds, you know, the crane and some eagles. And uh, in March I was in Bhutan to uh, take photos of their festivals. And, and uh, uh, April I was in Holland to have a trip about flowers. And in May I was in Namibia. And uh, in June I was in... This Washington. is Cecilia Chen, one of a new breed of freelance Chinese journalists who are tapping into the growing independent travel market, wandering the world and publishing stories of their adventures. I caught up with her at her latest exhibition in Beijing, where she is showing pictures from recent trips to the two poles. I started by asking her if she'd seen a growth in independent travel in China. Yeah, for sure. More and more people, especially the young people, they prefer the independent trip. And that's why they like my blogs, because they got a lot of information from it. And I also like this book. It's not for the group, group uh, travelers, it's for the independent travelers. So th that's what I'm doing, is um, just uh, to give them what they need, the information, and to guide them how to make it. So that's very important. Cecilia worked for 10 years in public relations, until one day she decided to give up her day job, pick up a camera and a notepad, and take to the road. I asked her how this decision had changed her life. For sure, you, I'm very, I work very hard, much harder than before, <laughs> because traveling is not so easy for, you know, for me, because um, you, have to, you, have, uh, you have to take a lot of uh, these big cameras and it's very heavy and you have to work from, you know, um, many hours with uh, your cameras. So it's not so easy. It's not the you just sit in the office and have some cup of coffee and talk, have a little talk. It's not a life like that. But you, you, I think I found what I, I need. That is very important and it made me happy. Unsurprisingly, when I asked of all the places she had travelled, which was her favourite, she smiled and said, everyone asks that. And the answer? It's a very interesting country. It's a small, but very, I found a, a very interesting things there. It's the Netherlands. It's, I think uh, many people, that they, they like the Netherlands because a lot of things, like their football, and, uh, well, uh, they have a, a wood meal, we windmill and also the wooden shoes, the tulip, and many nice things. But for me, it's a, a little bit special because I started my trip, my first uh, country when I traveled abroad is the Netherlands in 1999. And uh, last year, I have my first book published. Uh, it's about the Netherlands. The name is uh, I'm in the Netherlands. You can find that is my name. I am in the Netherlands. So it's very interesting. It's uh, like a cultural traveling because I introduce thing, many things that Chinese tourists they don't know or they don't know it well about the Dutch design and what heritage is and the museum and uh, many, a lot of uh, interesting things. As the interview came to a close, people started wandering into the exhibition and asking Cecilia about her travels. Having listened to her grueling schedule, I had one last question. How long did she expect to keep up her traveling? I don't want to retire someday. Um, I want to do, I want to do what, what I, I like until, until the last minute. Cecilia's exhibition, Reaching the Poles, is free and open from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. every day until the end of February at the Canon Showroom in Sohu, San Li Tun. This is DJ Clark in Beijing for China Daily.